Welcome to the second of these short videos based on our Lent course, Journeying with Jesus. Last week, we looked at the baptism of Jesus and imagined how it might feel if we heard those words, which Jesus, we're told, heard, said to us, this is my son, this is my daughter, my beloved, in whom I am well pleased. Afterwards, we turn and we hear in the gospel, the spirit drove Jesus into the wilderness where he was fam famished and fasted for 40 days. And at the end of the 40 days, the Satan, the devil, whoever that is, is another big question, came and tempted him. He invited him to turn stones into bread. He took him up to the top of the temple and he took him to a very high place. And each of those temptations, whether it's turning stones into bread, whether it's getting worship or whether it's getting the fealty of nations is about the things which we use, tend to use as humans to get our sense of who we are, possessions, power, prestige. And in each case, Jesus responds by saying, you have to put God first, you have to put God first, you have to put God first. So each time he's going beyond what is presented to his authentic self. And that's the context in which we thought about it, because there's a book which we're looking at by David Benner called The Gift of Being Yourself. And in it, he says, we do not find our true self by seeking it. Rather, we find it by seeking God. So I suppose the question for this week would be, are we, are you, reliant on possessions, on prestige or on power to define who you are? Or are you, like the picture behind me here at St. John's, willing to go back to the core of who you are, to your vulnerabilities, and trust in the love of God, trust in the knowledge that you are loved, in order to enable you to be more fully the person you're called to be and to see that fullness in those around you? Are you able to live more deeply in love, not reliant on prestige, on power, on possessions, but on the core of your being. As David Benner says, as we become more like Christ, we become more uniquely our own true self. So I wish you luck and good fortune in your quest. May it be richly blessed.